Hello everybody, welcome back. Alright, so we uh Mr. beat this thing. Shut up and shoot. Oh no, we didn't beat this thing. We're in the process of beating it. Ow! We have to fight them all! I can set up more fireworks from here and help you out! Hey, 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 hey. Ow, 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 Whoops. That's a good way to start. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut Come up on. and shoot. Yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it. We're gonna get this this time. Ow! Oh. We have to fight him off! I can tell Somewhat this time around. Don't worry about the stage lights, bud. Just worry about these guys. Yes! Here we go! Barry Wheeler to the rescue! Come on, hit him. Thank you. One behind me, isn't there? Oh, it's right there. Ow! Ow! These little freaking dips. Come on. Oh, Jesus. I can't stay in the light. Oh my god. Oh god, where did he come from? And why do I not have him? Oh, because it's out of ammo. Hurry up, switch, you dig on fool. Oh, don't. Oh. Get rid of these guys. Come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, get away. I need to get him away from me. Go up. We're hitting flashbangs now. That was a pain. Capital of America. I did not like that at all. I mean, it wasn't hard, hard, but it was still hard. You know what I'm saying? I've made mistakes, yes. Hey, Al! This way to the farm! <laughs> Okay, I'll be there. Hold on. You know me, I gotta... Oh, wait, I've been here. I haven't been in here. Can I get in there? No. Okay, yeah, let's go. Oh, 
I like the fact that I got a bigger light. Much more powerful. See, best seller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I <laughs> left it. I'll come back <laughs> for it once we have the place secured. I don't know why he's so obsessed with that daggone cutout. Nothing here. Can't get up. Oh, I mean, it was just. There we go. So, place up there. Looks like the only way to get up. Yeah, that's the only way. All good. Ah, uh, had to see that, didn't I? Knowing he can't run for very long. Missing page of the manuscript. Um, I don't think turning the music back on because it's still going to play regardless of uh, what I do. I've noticed that. Like, the end credit scene is always going to play the music that's on the end credit scene. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend, Barry, to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. <laughs> I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. <laughs> that is so gonna fall. Oh, a new episode. We all spend oh, a night spring. Soft Man. Somewhere it's between memories. Hey, oblivion. remember when I got you that gig? <laughs> your Dreams first real writing job. What got you started? Really Was this one of your episodes? Oh. In night spring. Tonight's episode. The Dream of Dreams. Ah, that's by someone else. We join huh. Mr. Jones. He explores the endless dreamscape. Only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow. Who's that? You don't know him? Hmm. What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't... isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. Mm. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I? A shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys. And they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. Huh. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. 
We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh... Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something... something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear hmm. that? The alarm's about to go off. Oh, God help us, it's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man, I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. Huh. That was interesting. Not, like, interesting, interesting, but interesting enough of a concept to dream about dreaming. I, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say about that. It's... Alright, let's see where we're going. That's not opening. Up there, I saw. Let's see, there it is. There's manuscript. I wonder if that's their uh, thing that they were talking about. Nope. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Asgard. The old gods of Asgard, 1975 Ragnarok, be awed by celestial wrath and fury. Wrath and fury. I don't know. Wraith is with an I, so I assume it's wrath. Alright, let's open the door. Good God. Get me out of here. Come on. Flare it. Okay, don't flare it. God. Forgot I had the flashbangs on. That's fine. I don't think there's anything I really need to read anyway. Can I skip this? No. Oh good, we're gonna freaking demolish these people. Oh my god, they're gonna demolish me. I'm hitting the f Eat that, please. Saw like four or five of them coming up the steps. Guess not anymore. All good. Let's go. 
Wait, he's not going after me. I think we can make it through here, Al. Where are you, buddy? That didn't hit him. That did. Okay, flashes don't work on this thing. Come on, stop moving around like a little... Don't care about the batteries at the moment. So flashbangs didn't work on that one. Which kind of sucks. Because that was going to be my go-to for those. I guess they're just too fast. Of course I can't. That's fine. Someone threw something at me. Oh, nice. Get rid of that. Look, he has light. I want it. Where are you? How'd you get over there? Oh, I bet you that tr truck wasn't there when he moved. Alright. No, I will not. You are not my boss. Well, I guess you are my manager. So, that would kind of make you my boss, but... I'm going to your f*** off, dude. No. Jesus. What do I hear? I hear a radio. I don't know where it is. It's up there. Alright, I know where it is. Yeah, another heavy duty lantern. Oh yeah, I'll take it. See what he has to say now. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night. Okay, what's this? You haven't missed a single radio show. Oh, nice. Only one. Deputies Mulligan and hmm. Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys. 
How busy are you now? Deer Fest is almost here, isn't it? I, hmm. I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm <laughs> talking here, Thornton. Uh... Oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wild, hmm. Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Hmm. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. I was expecting to hear, if you, uh, see Mr. Wake... Can you guys contact us? The elevator was dead. I'd have well, to get some power to dead. it first. I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. Hmm. That right there. Out. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Hmm. They had the goods. I don't want to open it for Barry for the simple fact that I know what's going to happen. Oh, I can't open that door. It's, what door is it? <clears throat> it's not that one, obviously. You've got to be kidding me. Oh god, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. much as I thought. Hey bud, how you doing? You doing good? Let's let's get you back to where you you came from. Oh come on. Buddy. I'm not here to deal with you. You shouldn't have tried. Um, I'm not climbing that yet. I want to look. I think I want to look around real quick. See if there's anything I might have missed. Manuscripts. Uh, ways, other ways to die. Now, the usual in Mr. Wake's daily life.
this horror, this horrific turn of events for Mr. Wake is definitely not normal. What shall we do now? Really? Why did I come? Ah, for a key. I wonder. Okay, that's not working. It's weird that it's not working. Yeah, no, it's, it's not. Hey, not let's go, man. All. Can't open that door. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate out. Oh, that's why. Or not. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. <laughs> we're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home. Oh, Allah. Oh, Allah. Oh, oh, that kind of messed with my throat a little bit. <laughs> Come on, one more game. Let's go. Oh, Allah. Oh, wow. Chainsaw. That's not a good sign. Old gods know the truth. Huh. I wonder if they're the ones that might have put my stuff. In, uh, yeah, I know I need to go in there. That gave me my secret areas and stuff. Whatever I'm trying to say. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say something. I just, it's not coming out right. I'm just doing a quick scan. I'm not doing like an in-depth look for things. It would be nice, but I don't have the time for that, nor the patience. So a quick little skim around. I guess we better check the fuse box. The power downstairs was out. But I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Yeah, but we're the power exam downstairs was out. Okay. But I was sure That's I could fine. fix that at the fuse box. We'll find the fuse box. Don't you worry. It's not in the kitchen. Come on. Not in BR1. Oh my god, Barry, you're just in the way. Oh yeah, there's an arrow. Always an arrow. Oh my god, Barry. Barry, get the freak out. It's fuse box outside. Please tell me it's outside. I'm not a thermos. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm going to look around here. Since this looks like a wide open spot, looks like I can get attacked really easily yet. Hey, look, there's a light up there. Okay, it's not back here. But Barry's not here, so that might. Oh, okay. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Yeah, I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot, so they can get wasted. Huh. Kidding? Those guys sound awesome. Be 
It's in that one. Let's see if this one opens. There's the fuse box. Let's see if the middle one opens. Oh, manuscript. Sweet. Alright. Missed that the last time. Oh, I'm, a, I'm itchy. Don't know why. Anyways, uh... Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the I know where it's coming system. from. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? That's gotta be... Lake. Watch your face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Ha! Right. Cynthia Weaver. That's the name. C.W. Had it written... C.W. written down right here. So I can remember that I need to look for it. find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey Al, lots of hours before dawn. Hmm. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry, this is... Not a yeah. good time. What the hell? Hmm. I think it's not a good time. Because if the power goes out, then... No, seriously, because I, I know we don't get along find her right even though you're a crazy bastard i'm gonna stick by you no matter hmm. what ever al sure you're like a brother i'm a writer god damn it correct if i just wanted to i could write 10 <laughs> books a year and and they'd be the best books that year no you couldn't that's right i couldn't but i could because i'm a writer what what do they put in this stuff I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know. I know. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. It's a bad idea to get drunk. Because then you wake up middle of the day still either wasted or hung over because he sure doesn't look like he's in his 20s anymore I know how it feels Diver's Isle. Damn it. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. It was a crazy drunken dream. I know what happened. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, hmm. an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Come on. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Uh, 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 
Huh. Alice. Jagger had Alice, Alice, and so she had me. Alice! <coughs> oh, I'd been there she play. is. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. Oh, no. This is where he's. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. Hmm. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you, right? You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. Hmm. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Huh. And yes. that's how we got stuck. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. What? Hmm. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, hmm. whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light hmm. into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. Hmm. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. We'll know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my Barbara a long time ago. She looks so old. Barbara. So am I going back to the... I had woken up, confused and groggy. My <laughs> mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Oh! So he took the car. Right. The and weak of the cabin the had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. Hmm. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. Until he wasn't safe. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Oh, come on. Previously on Alan Wake, under the influence of the Dark oh. Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Forgot all about we that guy. Something absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I don't want to well, recap right now. Crowd from the neighboring counties now. 
naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Wagari. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, but uh, let's try to uh, hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Uh, Always in the light. In the light. In the light. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent Again. had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Ugh. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, <laughs> Excuse me. Hell, this Let is me. not good. That about hey, sums it up. I'm peeing. You can't pee on your yeah. friend. Oh. Dry heaving? Oh, I am never drinking again. Uh. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, Al, but you we're stuck here. Night, They're not yeah, gonna... Hmm. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. Hmm. You hear me in there, Brett hmm. Easton Ellis? Huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... I want to... Look, that's not possible right now. I don't like him. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Hmm. Whoa! Get, get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh my God! Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your huh. things there. Follow me. Oh, man, oh, screw man. We're sitting ducks with the lights out. Stay cool. I can get the emergency power on. Come on. Uh, Barry. Where'd Barry go? Oh. Jesus, Barry. Here are your things. Wake, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt in the light. Only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light. Check. Cynthia. She lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on. Huh. Let's get back to your friend. Wheeler, <clears throat> I need you to stay here. What? No! We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, no. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, <clears throat> okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy huh. is on the list, Maine. Oh Who's god. Frank Breaker? He related to you? Oh my god, get out of the way, Barry. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. There's the backup one. power's on. These guys need to be alerted just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back. Does she right? know what's going on? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. My yeah, we can't go through the fr pizza. front. Is so. there any way I could order one out? Yeah, go ahead. Is that 
How many manuscript pages are there over here? Oh hell. Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? Are you sure? Yes. Okay, then, but hurry. Oh. Let's see if I can make it up this way. Ah! Boom! <laughs> Butthead. Scared me. Triple D's oh dear diner. Lady got some triple D's on her diner. Hmm. Oh, flares. Flares, take them. Take anything that'll help. I need a flare gun. Find a way to street. Street the reach level. Street. Reach the street level. Oh my god. I can't. I'm gonna find a way. Cause it's not hard. Nice. Use it. Hey, Sheriff, your password. Night Springs? What's that all about? Hmm. It's a stupid joke we have. That Bright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get weird at times. Never this year, though. Huh. To the damage control box. What am I, an electrician? Hold on. Ow, oh, damn. That's smart. Good job, Wade. Okay, stick close. Where'd the light go? The keys to the chopper are there. Keys to the chopper are down town hall. That's not gonna help me, buddy. Keep shooting, Sheriff. Keep shooting. Where's my big light? That's what I wanted, that. I don't have to waste ammo. That's a good thing for me. I just have to waste batteries. Look out. Is that a bad guy too? I'm lost. I don't think so. Way too long. 
to get him down. Out of bullets too, I guess. Over here, Wake. The chopper's in the other direction. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yay. I don't know who was driving this, but they were a lifesaver, I think. Got it. Thank you. That FBI agent's a piece of work. Wait a second. I've seen this. Picks up the manuscript and poof, gone. Why is the gate overlapping? That's fine. Oh, it's all gone. No more <laughs> sounding sounds right this second. I like it. I love it. I don't want some more of it. I see some flares. Got the f flare of life here, buddy. Sorry, so I, I, I tend to wander off. Look, the diner. Let's go to the bathroom. Yes, switch to the heavy duty. Take everything. I'm gonna take everything I'm from you. I want explanations, you know. For example, what the hell happened to Rose? She's seriously messed up now. The same thing I think happened to me after I arrived. During this week, you can't remember? Oh, I remember now. Huh. Drink them both up? What? You drink them bot up? You drink them bot up? I don't know what that is. I'm curious to know what that is. Hey, they were right there. Thor and Loka and Odin. The brothers, they were sitting right there talking about the music. I remember seeing them now. I'm coming. I thought New Yorkers were rude. You have the right to remain silent. Oh my god, what are you doing? Just keep running, keep running, keep running. Motherfucker. Ah, oh, he was supposed to keep running.
gonna do this. Not a fan, I'm not a fan. Out. Got plenty of this ammo. Ooh. Maybe I can get some of this ammo. Nope. We oh. made it. Oh, nice. We made it. <laughs> not for long. I'm gonna go this way. Wait, over here! There's light! Here, right here. Hold on. Shotgun ammo. Are you done? Oh my god, dude. I mean... Yo! Texas. I don't want you here. Was that everyone? I think so. Let's go, wake. I'm waiting for you. Could have had it all done nice and earlier if you would have just let me handle them. Just saying. Okay, someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? <laughs> Fine. They should be in the clerk's office on the other side of the building near the main entrance. Gotcha. Clerk's office, other side of the building, near main entrance. So we're gonna go upstairs. The keys aren't upstairs, Wake. I'm just gonna take a quick look. Freedom. A fusion of vigilance, conscience, and uncompromising. Light spring. A need so fundamental, it permeates our very being. And yet, a man may be brought to his knees in a single heartbeat. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, taken in his prime. For young Manny, the night hasn't been kind. He's a marked man, selected for a lifetime of servitude after answering an ad in the newspaper. But first, a little field surgery is required. Hmm. The heck is going on? Yeah, I think you're just about ready hmm. for it. Best if you don't resist this kid. You gotta beat it out of you. What? I don't understand. What, what did I do? I just wanted to get a job in the service industry. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you're gonna serve all right. No, oh no. no please. Oh. There it is. It's coming out now. Right between the self-esteem and the childhood traumas. What are you doing to me? That's for me. There, I got it. Hmm. Free will. What was that? Oh, there's more. Nothing for you to worry about, Manny. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Well, 
Springs. It's weird that the TV worked. Yo, oh, you son of a... Evil little person just jumped right out at me. It's like, oh no. So I caught him with a hole in the chest. The message was from Barry. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry. Almost out of ammo for this, so I think it's time for a change. What was that? That was probably the shotgun. There's the door. It's not opening. Check the clerk's area. I don't see it. Clerk's office. There's a flare. Oh, this is going to get rough. I can already tell. Oh, 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 give me that. Flashbangs, I'll take. Helicopter key okay, is Sheriff, mine. Oh. <laughs> Barry? Why isn't he inside? Oh god. Oh god. Huh. See, even Barry runs longer than you. Barry! He made it inside, Wake. He's okay. Hmm. Why is he the storefront's locked? Come on, Wake. Let's go around. We can meet him in the back. Oh, Barry, Barry, Barry. Anyways, uh, this is a good spot to end it. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.